Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this video. I've recorded it some time ago already, but when I rewatched it, I realized I didn't record my microphone and I was so upset of it because it happened to me a while ago again. Like I, I knew there were issues, but uh, yeah, long story short, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a background scene, which is a pretty popular question in the MX Bikes Discord lately. And uh, without further ado, it's pretty straightforward. So what you need is Blender and the MX Bikes conversion fruits, which you get from mx-bikes.com and below the downloads tab you have conversion tools and that one covers all f tools you need like fbx to edf uh, which you're going to use um, to export or to convert your your model your fbx model to an edf since edf is what mx bikes is able to read um yeah as always i have no script made it's all uh, a one take <laughs> so um Backgrounds are pretty simple. I'm quickly going to show you how it looks like originally. Just let me remove my uh, my background installs right now. Okay, so booting up MX Bikes, you see our default uh, background scene, which is the dark gray now it's like like light gray kind of stuff with the ripples on the ground and so on um like that's the base or default background everyone knows um yeah so you know that one like it's pretty it's pretty boring since it's it's here since ever or at least since i'm here which is since 2018 so anyways um backgrounds are pretty easy uh you just have to imagine you're, you're rotating around zero, basically. So you see we have a rotation point and that here is zero. So we have x, uh, x zero, y zero and z zero. So this is basically our origin, which is here. Now just imagine my rider is standing here, kinda. So as said, it's extremely easy. The first thing we want to do is create a plane for the ground and make it like, I don't know, scale it up by times five. So simply press S for scale. You see it in the, in the lower, uh, here in the, in the <laughs> lower bar. I don't know how it's called. Um, press S and five. So you scale it up by five, which makes it 10 by 10. So we have a plane that is 10 meters by 10 meters. Um, if you want, Oh, I have to, I have to say it different. Um, for the background scene, this is basically everything you need. So in that exact moment, we've got a ground where our wider will, we will stand on. <laughs> so that's, that's actually it. We don't have to do any namings, nothing. We just, for the basics, export it to FBX. Like I just take my, uh, my desktop and save it as bg.fbx hit export now i go to where i have installed my tools which i have in a handy quick access menu for me which is here so start fbx to edf and what you want to do is load the fbx we just saved which is bg.fbx like a minute ago then we select type map because we need a bg.map file and not an EDF on FBX. We need a bg.map, so background.map. We select map, we select save, and then we go to our MXBX installation folder, which is usually your Steam folder. For in my case, it's e game Steam, Steam Maps, common MXBX. And you have to create a folder that's called MISC, M I S C. Inside that folder, you have to create another folder which is called bg for background simple reason if you open the misc.pkz with winwar or 7zip or whatever you will have misc which is that one you see bg flex fonts blah blah and we want to replace the default bg 
So everything that's in this folder will replace what's in the PKZ because folder has a higher priority of loading stuff than our PKZ. So long story short, create the BG folder, go into that folder and save it as bg.map. Don't mind my folder here, that's just of my uh, work in progress stuff. So bg.map, hit save, hit convert, and it's done in no time because we have no textures whatsoever assigned. So just restart MX bikes. Let it load. And you'll see immediate changes because our bg.map will be loaded instead of the default one. And as you can see, we have a black background because we have no sky, and we have a white plane because we imported an a plane with no textures, nothing to it assigned. So, as you can see, we have no shadows. The background works like this. You, your textures need to have a material with an actual texture assigned to it. Let me show it. So, we go back to Blender. And since it's a plane, it's pretty easy. You press tab to go into the edit mode, which you see here. And on my left side, I always have my UV editor opened. And you can see our texture is already mapped because it's, it's a square. <laughs> we don't have much texture in it. So if you just want like a black background or whatever, oh, we stick with the white, so I can't show, show you the shadows. Um, so what I said earlier, for objects to receive shadows from your bike and your stand and your rider, your texture needs or has to have a texture, an actual texture assigned to it. So the easiest thing will be, we click on material, create new material, name it, I don't know, ground, and using base color won't work. So we have to select image texture. You see it changes because the image is now basically black because there is no image. We create new and name it doesn't matter. Ground. With can be 1k by 1k or 2k by 2k, whatever you feel like. And in the color, we just make it white so I can show you the shadows. Uncheck alpha generate type blank and hit OK. So now we've made a ground texture or like a texture for our material which is called ground and when we go into our UV editor you can select the texture on the bottom pressing tab you see it's mapped. Now as I said or as I said like two times already the texture has to be physically available like it has to be a real texture. So I'm just going to image Save as desktop ground.tga. Select TGA because we need a TGA file. <laughs> Save as image. Double check if it's selected. So just go on the folder and you see it's ground TGA. So that image has been saved as ground TGA and is now known as ground TGA for the file itself. So just double check again. It wants ground TGA. Okay, just select it. Now I want to export it again to FBX. Just keep all my settings as always. In the path mode, I usually go with absolute because copy and auto often fails for me. So I always gone with absolute. Hit export and now we've exported our white ground with the white texture assigned to it. And go back to FBX to EDF. I have my BG selected, I have my save path selected and I just click convert. It's done in no time. Start MX bikes again and you'll see our ground receives shadows just because the ground or any object ever needs a texture assigned to it to receive shadows. And believe it or not, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> so let me rephrase it again. We have ground. Oh, I think we have to actually give it a texture name or a material name 
which in this case is track asphalt, you get all the different um, uh, surface textures, uh, texture names in the track creation guide. I think it was, yeah, it was. And you need specific naming. If you if you never made a track before, that one is will be pretty new for you because a mixbox has different uh, surface ty types. Like you have asphalt, you have a, a two type, three types of asphalt. You have grass, concrete, curb, which is the white red stuff next to a street bike track, like a GP bike track. You have con concrete for like a, a different type of of ground, uh, sand, soil. And line, so that's our track ground materials we can use. Then there's some more stuff we need for walls uh, here, which is for walls. We are not going into it right now. And then there's also some stuff uh, which is explained in the wiki. You can you can go to mxbwiki.com or to the official Pivoso documentation. Um, yeah, that's the naming. So we need. Our ground to be a material which is able to receive shadows, which in this case would be track asphalt, because now we assume is is it's it's a solid ground, so it's asphalt. Uh, export it again, convert it again, and then it should work. <laughs> in theory, <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if it would not, but I think it should. Yeah, and there we go. So, since our texture is now assigned to our ground, and our ground is an actual shadow receiver, we get shadow on our ground. <laughs> so, that's basically it for making backgrounds in the mixed bikes. Just remember, this is our your zero point, like it's zero, zero, zero in, in Blender. And to show it a little bit better, I'll just create a cube, make it like uh, just move it. Okay, now we have a little cube which is half a meter high. We make it two. Uh, I'm going with a lots of with with lots of shortcuts, so I want to move it on the x axis. So I press G, X, and now I just type 2. So I translated uh, 2 meters on X. Then I call it wall concrete, like, I don't know, pillar in this case, just because that's what I had in mind. And I also say I want a new material, which is pillar. I make a new image which I call pillar as well, but instead of white, I have like that kind of thing here. Uh, save it as an image as pillar.tga. So double check if it's selected and it should be, which is true. So now I, now I have my, my track ground, basically my, my background ground and the pillar and I'll export it again. And I convert it again. It's finished. I can restart my MX bikes. Uh, important notice for background stuff or for general background changes and UI stuff, you have to uh, restart your MX bikes because otherwise it won't load the new model. So as you can see, we have a little issue. That's because our pillar is not um, it's not casting any shadow on the on the um, on the ground. That's the issue of how the background works. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just have to figure it out. It's it's extremely easy. Just model your stuff around your x uh, x zero y zero z zero, and that's it. You can get any models from any three D page, basically, and just <laughs> try it out. Yeah. Um, Actually, I wanted to have it a little bit shorter, but as always, I have no script, so yeah, <laughs> I just tried to freestyle it. And there we go. That's how you get custom background in MX Bikes. 
Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one.